Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to lower these Revel 32 Ford kits. Um, these kits are awesome. It's probably my favourite kit or maybe in top top two or three um, to work with. It's a really common kit and I do this video because some people have asked how to lower them and stuff and um, they're quite a common kit to do. Everyone loves the 32 Ford and this is fairly basic kit to lower. This is the way I have done a couple and um, it's just the easiest way I've worked out how to do it. So you can, it works for this, these uh, three window kits. And this, these Revell Roadster High Boy kits as well. These are basically the same kit. All that's different is um, the body and like the convertible parts. Like the wind, windshield and I think the seat. But the rest of the chassis and engine is pretty much exactly the same. So, what we need is, the parts we need to lower it is just the floor pan and chassis. It's one piece. And we need the front suspension. And we'll need this back suspension too, just for sizing. So what we, um, what else we need is some tools. Just some files, like try and get a thin file, just to get into set to to file the front end down. Um, a knife, just a hobby knife. A drill bit. This is a 4.5 millimeter drill bit. I'm not. Sure, I don't know what it is in inches, because um, I've never had to deal with it. And also some. I used to use side cutters as well. Our first step is we're going to start with the front. Uh, it's pretty quite easy doing the front. <clears throat> As you can see, the the way the suspension fits into the chassis here is just this locator section here, and then it stops on these metal things. Well, not metal. These tab things here on the, the rails of the chassis, if I can get that to go in there. So basically what we need to do is to get this to go up into the chassis more. It's really quite simple. All we need to do is remove this side sections here. So this part here goes straight down and we're just gonna remove these tabs. I'll do one side for years and then I'll do one off camera and then I'll show you how it's, how it's finished. So, there's, I just use a knife for this. I had to think about that for a sec, so I didn't wanna. I'll just simply, I'll just try and look at the camera and do this at the same time. You can trim it or you can just snip it with some snips. Just get rid of the excess bit. Like that. Get your file. Just show you quickly. Get the file. And just file that lug bit down. Like this. Hopefully you can see that there, how it's different to the other side now. And we'll just check, I won't check, I'll just chop these off completely. These, because I'll, I'll must, I like to have these fronts so when you build the car that this moves a bit so 
um, it does, you don't get it um, tripoding, they call it, when you finished it, so the one wheel's not sticking off the ground. If you can move a little bit, when you're building the, the model, you can put that down, like, you can put it on the ground and let it self level out and then glue it in. And this way makes it have a little bit of movement. So what I do is I just cut them off completely. I do both sides, it's not that, not that long. I'll just do this while I'm at it as well. Chop this bit. Some people probably sat there for hours trying to work out how to do to lower them, and it's just so simple once you see it done. I'll just go a little bit rough with that bit there. We'll just make sure it's trimmed a bit there. So you have it looking like this. And then when you put it into the chassis, you'll notice it's the height here, this chrome bit coming through here, that's how much you've actually just lowered it. Um, which I reckon that, I think it's about roughly two mil or two and a half mil. That's about two and a half inches in real life. And you also have to trim this bit here off, off the top here, because the um, your grill, I think it hits on it from, from memory. So I won't do that now, but I will actually, I'll do it now. I'll just chop it off quickly. This is why I use these snips, because it's really fast. Like that, a bit more. And there you go. That's a lowered stock suspension. So for the next part, which is the rear, the way this rear end attaches to the chassis, it's just got these little airbag things like this. I think they're meant to be airbags, look like airbags. And they just got these, the two outer holes here on the chassis. They just sit in there. That's basically how they go. Like this, so if we can see that. So all I do is get a drill. I've put a 2.5 in here at the moment. And I just drill these outer holes out. I just go, just, I'm just doing the 2.5 as like a pilot hole so I don't crack the styrene. So I just switch drills here for a second. And then I come in with the 4.5. I should have got in there. And drill them out. Like that. Let's get rid of this drill and the shavings. Now. As you can see here, we've just drilled some holes where the airbags go. And you notice that they don't quite go all the way through with a 4.5, because this is about 4.6, these airbag diameter here. So what we'll do is get your knife and just I put the knife in like that and just put a little bit of pressure on it and just turn it like that. You can file them if you want, but this is just faster. Then you just got to keep on. They're almost in. They're probably in now, actually. I might, I'll give it a one little slight go here. <clears throat> Sorry about my breathing. It's my... As soon as I put my glass on, it squishes my nose. And now, the airbags come up through the body. Like this. And that's lowered. 
You'll notice here though that your um, rear axle hits on the chassis there, on the rails, and your disc centre hits on the floor here. I'll just pop this out, if I can. There we go. What you can do to get it even lower is here, you just make little, you just carve out little arcs in here. It's like when you see section of chassis in real life. So you just carve out little arcs in here and you can also cut a hole in the center here for the diff housing to go up into and it'll give you, um, it'll make it a little bit lower. So what I'll do is I'll just do that now off camera and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so what I've done is I've come in with my multi-tool and I've just removed some material from here to allow the, the, the uh, axle to come up into the floor more. And I've also made this hole here in the floor, just here, for, to allow, that just allows the um, center of the diff, differential to come up in through the floor. Um, stops it banging on there. So I'll just put this back end back in. With these holes, the outside where the airbags go in, I tried to keep them a little bit tight. So I can basically play around and adjust the height I want this, like the back axle. So I can go all the way down if I want or sit it up a bit higher. But as you can see here, it goes right up into the floor now, like this. So that's about it. So you just got to bang your wheels on. Um, one more thing is, I think this should be right with this one. When you put the body on, I'm not sure how far these, it has these inner wheel wells here. I think they clear from memory, but you might have to just trim those as well if you're gonna go this slow. So that's about it. I'll just take a photo and show you the differences and stuff like that. Basically, here's one I did. This is one of the first ones I, I built like this years ago. That's using the same method. This has also got a, the body's been channeled over the chassis. I may do a video on that later. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but this has got the same same back end modifications and the same front end here. And this little this little roadster has got basically all stock suspension in it still, um, and it's just got the it's channeled as well. I did this one completely, I did this the channeling different to that one, so there's two different techniques. But I'm not sure if I'll do a video on that yet again. Um, I'll see how I go. If I've got requests for it, I will. It just takes a bit more effort and a lot more time, and the video will be a bit longer. So hopefully, you can get your little hot rods to sit a bit lower now and looking cool. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and give this a like just to show me that everyone's interested and people are watching the videos. And I'll hopefully do some more soon. Thank you.